Now that the future bit has been connected to the network, I type in the IP address and the initial setup page is the first thing that comes up. So I'll go ahead and paste my Litecoin address in there. Go ahead and grab litecoin.pool.org just to give it something to point at for the time being. Yeah, sure. And it wants you to set up a password. So we'll go ahead and we'll set one up real quick. Alright, we'll say save. Let's see what happens. Cool, setup done, nice. Alright, so now we log in with the password that we've established. I didn't type it in wrong already. It's only been a few seconds. Cool. And here's our front page. Oh, and it's already hashing away. Oh, hot dog. So it's on, and it's hashing, and apparently it's been up for some time. Uh, I didn't know that. Wow, that went pretty fast. That thing is really quiet. I barely even hear it. Um, it is on eco mode, as recommended. Auto minor voltage frequency, that's the fan speed. So while this is up and running, we have a nice temperature readout. We got here, we got settings, different pools, start and stop it, reboot it. Yeah, I think probably under settings is where we can set up the Wi-Fi. See, so yeah, it's turbo mode. Interesting. Alright, so there's your Wi-Fi settings. Back up our configs. Cool. Yeah, so that was legitimately plug and play. That's crazy. Danger zone! Nice. So there you have it. Um, straight out the box. Um, minimal setup required. And it's, it's going along with a pretty cool dashboard. Um, I'll have to mess around with the Wi-Fi settings because it says it's an alpha feature, it's not even beta, so it's buggy. But um, I'm sure as more updates come out that'll make it easier, but I got the plug in the wall for it right now. And uh, there you go, so that's the future bit Apollo. And if you like these videos, feel free to donate. I'll put the Litecoin address in there and a variety of other addresses because Litecoin is nice, but some are easier to mine. So um, thanks for watching. I hope this helps. Feel free to ask questions. Bye.